too often our meteorologists get teased a little bit by some of their predictions. But I will say, Jason Laird nailed this prediction right on the head. Mm -hmm. He said that these tornadoes were going to happen in Kansas, Oklahoma. Guess what? This was uh, in Kansas today. Yeah, video shows a tornado touching down in Harper County earlier tonight. That's near the city of Wichita. So far, though, no reports of damage or injuries, so that is the good news. And closer to home, Jason, uh, pretty cold, cold Sunday. Yeah, a little brisk. I got to thank Jonathan for that nice little ego <laughs> boost because I was saying like two inches of snow throughout the springs, and we had the rain. Just in, in the snow, it just didn't stick. Of course, yeah. ground is a little too warm. But literally, I was looking at those snow totals, and all the way around El Paso County, there was snow right about what we forecasted, just not El Paso. So let's take you over to the wind speeds right now. This is going to be the big story for tonight. It's still pretty breezy here, about 22 miles an hour throughout the springs, about 23 in La Junta and Lamar. So those winds are definitely dropping those temperatures a little bit as well. As we take a look at our wind chill temperatures, Pueblo is kind of not too bad, really, about 37 degrees factoring in the wind chill. But here in the springs, down into the teens, 17, Lyman, only 11 degrees factoring in that wind chill. So a very, very chilly night. And these temperatures really aren't going to warm up. We've been talking about another system that's moving in. So it's going to stay cool up until then. As you notice, we're starting to see a little wraparound moisture off of that area of low pressure. Yeah, the main storm is out of the region. As you notice, what caused all those tornadoes throughout Oklahoma and Kansas today were basically once that Gulf moisture started tapping back into this system, it repopulated and that area of low pressure just pulled it right up in there. And we had that cold air to really wedge things in. And that's what kind of kicked off the severe weather. But as you know, we're still getting a little wraparound moisture throughout eastern Colorado right now. But that's going to die down as the evening progresses. Here's how things are going to play out. There's that uh, big cold front, an area of low pressure that tracked all the way off of the California coast. But as you notice, it's pretty much out of the region right now. So as the overnight hours move throughout, I should say, we're going to see those clouds and moisture pretty much move out of the region, really clearing overnight tonight as Monday morning and afternoon start to roll around. Looks to be a fairly nice day tomorrow, but again, those temperatures aren't going to warm up much. We still got quite a bit of cold air planted over top of the region, so with those clear skies, that's really going to keep those overnight lows a little bit brisk. When you get that heavy cloud cover, it kind of blanket things in, but uh, not tomorrow. So those overnight lows, again, a bit chilly for us. As for highs tomorrow, again, not climbing up the charts too high into the mid-40s, but, you know, that's about what we should be in December is into the 40s and 30s across the board. Looking at 44 into Pueblo tomorrow, 40 degrees here into the Springs. A few 30s as we look up into Lyman and Burlington there, but, again, just a little bit chilly after this system moved in. Closer to home here into Penrose, we're looking at 43 degrees. Canyon City about 44. Up into Monument, 38 degrees. Briar Gate about 37. And Woodland Park tomorrow, 34 degrees. As for the next seven days, here's how things play out for us. 40 degrees, again, starting out your work week. Pretty clear up until about Tuesday, and then that's when the next weather system starts to move in. Doesn't look to be carrying quite as much moisture as this last system had, but again, keeping those temperatures down a little bit and giving us that chance of rain mixed with snow on Wednesday. Into Pueblo, we're going to start the week out with 44 degrees, and those 40s are pretty much going to linger all week long into the teens for overnight lows. So again, a bit brisk there. Canyon City, 44 again to start the week out. A few clouds rolling through on Tuesday. And then we're going to see those clouds build throughout Wednesday again, kind of a rain mixed with snow there. Same story up into the high country, rain mixed with snow in a week of the 30s and teens for overnight lows. So kind of feeling a little bit more like December should feel. I know it feels really chilly after last week, but we're kind of right on track with the average temperatures, you could say. Yeah, and I'm glad the mountains got pretty oh, good. Oh, yeah, totally. Hefty Skiers amounts of snow. Yeah, Great. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, Jason, thank you. Thank you.